Residents of Bolako village in Nabong sub-county are sorting what they can from their houses, unroofed by a bout of rain that lasted about 30 minutes. It was around 3 to 4. In fact, we had a very, a very strong storm wind which came and has destroyed most of our houses. Close to 1,000 of them in six villages, including Bulako, Bukunua, Namusaza, Nabongo Township, and Bunanimi, have to look for alternative shelter for the time being. Many houses and many people are sleeping outside. Yesterday we went and slept in the, in the sub counties headquarters. But as I speak now, we are even wondering where we are going to sleep. Not much is left of their gardens. A factory that processes sunflower seeds into oil was not spared. In Nabongo, it was as a result of the heavy, heavy and strong winds that destroyed one of the warehouse of the minister in charge elderly, where quite a number of property were destroyed. Not only that structure, but even the neighborhood around. Over in western Uganda, learners in Chibumba Primary School, in Chahafi Town Council, Kisoro District, Chichumba Primary School have to wade through water to get to school. <laughs> the classrooms have been submerged for three days after a downpour on Sunday evening. The water also invaded the tent provided by UNICEF. Uh, really, it has affected us because uh, you see we have the enrollment of 824 pupils. So we have got the Red Cross. They have uh, assisted us with the tent. So we have taken there the P4, P5, and even P2. They are there in the tents at the sub county. Although it seems fun for the learners crossing through the flooded compound, there are threats of waterborne diseases and drowning. Because we are worried of our children, they are praying in, uh, in the compound that is full of water, that is flooded. So at any time an incident can happen and they drown in, in such a water, which is now a problem. The leaders have asked the government for solutions because the school floods whenever it rains. We are trying to appeal to the ministry to come down and advise us on what to do.